Nowadays, it's hard to imagine going about our daily business without conference calls. OpenScape Web Embedded Client offers a number of options for setting up and conducting conference calls. Now let's have an initial look at this conferencing functionality. More and more business communication takes place within conference calls. OpenScape UC helps arrange many different types of conferences and gives you many options for establishing and controlling the conference. The number of conference options may feel overwhelming at first, but you will find that you can handle the majority of conferences by working with just a few basic options. Before starting to create a conference, it is a good idea to plan a few basics. First, you have to decide whether you need to have the call sometime in the future or whether you want to call everyone now, this minute. A scheduled conference takes place sometime in the future. You send the participants an email invitation with a dial-in number. Then, each participant dials into the conference at the appropriate time. OpenScape assists you by automatically arranging the number for dialing in and even helps you send the email invitations. An ad hoc conference is used to spontaneously call a team. For example, when something has happened and you need to speak to your team as quickly as possible, OpenScape can help you predefine your conference group, see the status of each team member, and let you call everyone with a few simple clicks. You will need to choose whether people should dial into the OpenScape conference or whether OpenScape should call them. As a general rule of thumb, most scheduled conferences have the participants dial into the conference, and most ad hoc conferences dial the participants. By the way, it is also possible to set up a conference directly from your Outlook calendar. Being able to quickly establish a last-minute conference call with just a few clicks is one of OpenScape's most powerful features. Simply mark the people you want to have join the conference in your contacts. Then, click on the green triangle. And press Start. The conference opens immediately and automatically calls the participants. To make things go quicker, it is a good idea to spend a minute now to predefine some of the groups that you may want to talk to quickly. For example, your project team. Let's see how to set up a conference group for a project team. Open the menu for conference group by clicking on the blue Make Conference icon. Then, add a name for the conference. We'll call this team Conference Call. You can include participants by clicking on the spyglass to add them from the various other directories linked with OpenScape or just write in their name. If they are external partners, you can add them simply by typing in their numbers. Remember to use the full international numbers for this. And please, also add their names and email addresses for automated conference notifications. Now, check the direction of the arrows. The arrow pointing to the left means that OpenScape will be calling them. You can change this simply by clicking on the icon. Click OK, and the conference will be added to the list of your predefined conference groups. The conference is automatically assigned a PIN and bridge number, which are then sent to the invitees via email. You can now click on the Edit Conference icon and the conference group to review all the people selected.
We often use our Outlook calendars to schedule meetings. How can OpenScape help me set up a conference from Outlook? Your Outlook calendar screen displays a button offering to create an OpenScape conference. Open your Outlook calendar. Then mark a specific date and time. Schedule a new appointment by clicking on New. Now, assign a name to the conference, such as SalesConf. Go to Scheduling and add the participants you require from your directory. Then press Add OpenScape Conference. You can either schedule a web conference or an audio conference. In this case, we have chosen an audio conference. Now, click on OK and send invitations to the participants by clicking Send. The conference is automatically displayed in your client under Conferences. You can click on the conference to view the participants and other information concerning this conference. An audio conference can be expanded into a web conference if this option has been provided for and authorized by your administrator. To open a web conference, you first schedule your conference with Outlook in the way we have already shown you. Now mark Add Web Conference and choose FastView as your conference provider. Then click on OK. The moderator can start the conference from Outlook easily by clicking on the Start Conference or Start Web Conference icons. The conference invitation includes a link to the web conference. The participants click on the link and FastViewer opens for them. They are now able to see the moderator's desktop and can work on documents with them. FastViewer also enables files to be exchanged and, of course, offers you many other options.